I honestly cannot tell if these clips look good or if they look like I'm trying to contact aliens. Hey guys, it's Genevieve. Welcome to or back to my channel. Happy Soul Sunday. I hope all of you are having an incredible Sunday and doing some self-care and doing some things that will set your future self up for success. This video is honestly a long time coming. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like maybe I should have done this earlier considering that veganism is definitely one of the main topics of all of my social media platforms. Anyway, this is going to be why I am vegan and why I Will always be vegan. I feel like I do need to give a little disclaimer that I am not telling you that you have to go vegan. I am not saying that you are a bad person if you are not vegan or choosing to not be vegan for whatever reason. That is your life. That is your choice. I am just here to share my personal experience with veganism and yeah, just the reasons that I made the lifestyle change for myself and yeah. So let's get on to the video. Why I can feel those butterflies. So to to give you guys some context, back in 2017, that is when I stumbled across Freely's channel. And looking back, I definitely wish that I had taken a different approach. I wish that I had found one of the vegans that actually was eating somewhat balanced, but that was not the case. And I'm still happy that I found Freely's channel because her videos definitely acted as a wake up call for me. I was only like 14 at the time. So like I had never been told any of this information. Her videos definitely educated me, not in the most pleasant way, but it worked and I'm very grateful that I I did find her videos when I did because that led me to go vegan the next day. But obviously the fact that that diet like raw till four, I tried doing it and it was just not sustainable for me, especially since I am so active. I definitely need to prioritize protein and fats. Now that I have done that, I literally feel so great. Point being though, that part of my vegan journey was very short lived. Um, I went back to being vegetarian probably only like two or three weeks after. So it was a little bit of a rocky start but then throughout time like by 2018 on New Year's Eve literally I was like okay I literally cannot be vegetarian anymore I have to go vegan I feel so strongly about this and ever since then I have been completely vegan and I am never looking back this has been by far one of the most positive changes in my entire life as soon as I went vegan some of the changes that I noticed was that I have a lot more consistent energy I don't get that that, like crash throughout the day and as long as I am on top of snacking and making sure to just eat proper meals I feel really really great my skin cleared up the year that I was like officially vegan that's when I was dancing the most I was dancing probably up to like 25 hours a week I was very active and being vegan served me so well I literally could never go back at this point non-vegan foods don't even cross my train of thought now so considering that I I was first exposed to veganism through Freely. I definitely went vegan for the ethical reasons. I had no idea that the meat and dairy industries were as cruel as they are. I know that many of you have probably already heard this quote because vegans definitely throw it around a lot. If slaughterhouses had glass walls, everyone would be vegan and I really think that that is true. I'm not going to go into detail because if you guys really want to learn more, there there is so much information out there, but I don't want to bombard you guys with that graphic footage. So um, all I'm going to say is that you would never want your pet, cat, or dog to be tortured or be killed for food. And the reality is, is that there is nothing different between your dog or your cat than to a cow, a pig, or a chicken. They all feel pain. They all have emotions. They all can form memories. They can all form bonds with humans. The only reason we have cats and dogs as pets is because that is we're, you know, we are conditioned by society to view those as pets and then a cow, a pig, or a chicken as food. There's no difference and to me, I just think that I am a true animal lover so that should encompass all animals. Yeah, I just feel like there is no need to cause that harm to animals. I would much rather love them and see them happy living their lives to the fullest instead of being killed before their time. I really do encourage you guys to go watch Earthlings. It is very graphic but even if you just watch a few seconds of it 
honestly just do your research and I'm sure that you will be shocked by what is actually happening in factory farms. And I know some people are going to say that, oh, I only buy grass-fed free range. There is no regulations that people have to follow when they claim that their eggs or their chickens are free range because free range literally just means a few extra inches and they have to see the sunlight but there's no regulation as to like how much sunlight they need to get how many how many minutes how many hours how many days are they spending outside there is literally no regulations companies literally just don't follow it um they just slap the label on the carton of eggs and then people think that the chickens are living happy lives but honestly that is really just not the case the next thing was definitely for health reasons um through freely of course i'm shouting her out so many times in this video i honestly really do encourage you guys to watch someone like maddie limburner or ellen fisher or any other vegan pretty much because they are a much more accurate representation of what a normal vegan is. Freely definitely educated me on the health elements behind going vegan. A lot of animal products are really, really, really high in like saturated fat. It's just pretty nasty and it also really raises your cholesterol levels and dairy is probably one of the worst things that you could eat because I mean, we all know that like dairy breaks out our skin. That is just one um, representation of how it causes inflammation in our bodies. And also like we have plant milks oat milk cashew milk rice milk almond milk walnut milk hemp milk like there is literally endless options that you can make your own plant milks if you want you could do combinations of things coconut milk and almond milk are really good together but yeah there's just literally no need to consume those foods so i just don't and of course something that is becoming ever more present in today's society is the discussion of environmental issues to put it in perspective the animal agriculture industry accounts for 51 percent of greenhouse gas emissions that is literally all of the transportation sectors combined plus more that is just mind-blowing and it's all because we want to consume animal products like i just it's so unnecessary and it really goes to show that the best way to be an environmentalist and be an advocate for a clean future like you just gotta go vegan <laughs> oh that sounds preachy i just truly feel that if you want to advocate for a better future a cleaner future one with less emissions the best thing you really can do is go vegan because you are cutting out so much resource use and to be honest resource waste so just give it a thought um i should also say that you do not have to go full vegan like if your favorite food is cheese pizza start by cutting out everything but that food in the grand scheme of things by cutting out everything else, you are still helping so much. Like I really do want to stress that. Don't feel like you have to cut out your favorite food. If and when you feel ready, you can try a vegan substitute or you can try a recipe. Don't put that pressure on yourself just yet. Like ease into it if you want to and the last main reason for me is that there's just really no need for me to consume animal products because i can get all of my essential vitamins nutrients minerals etc through plants and they're honestly really tasty they're really easy to cook i've literally tried so many different recipes and to be honest i've never had bad vegan food i feel so great living on this lifestyle i have implemented veganism throughout my life i don't just follow it in terms of like what i'm eating i always make sure to buy things that are vegan leather i don't buy anything that's wool suede silk obviously leather so in case you are watching this video and thinking that you want to try out veganism see how it goes i really really do want to help you make this transition if it is what you want to do so feel free to dm me comment on this video but some just like general tips for new vegans are first off educate yourself you need to find your why because these are just my personal reasons but every vegan kind of has their own reasons as to why they want to be vegan so definitely do your own research some of the resources that i definitely recommend are of course the vegan doc documentaries like earthlings 
Forks Over Knives, Game Changers, um, Cowspiracy, all of those are really great things to watch, to educate yourself. They're not enjoyable, but anyway, there's that. I also highly, highly, highly recommend checking out Earthling Ed here on YouTube because I have learned so much from him. Like he is honestly probably the best resource for learning more about the vegan movement. So definitely check out his channel and also really explore all of your recipes because there is so many vegan recipes out there. So many that are super easy to make and probably things that you already have in your house. So some of my favorite channels for recipes are Mina Rome, Kate Flowers, Grace Beverly, Ashley Wicca, and Pippin Jardine. Also Jacqueline Forbes is really great. All of their channels have tons of vegan content. So if you're looking for recipes and also just further inspiration, definitely check out their channels as well. They have all influenced my own vegan journey. So hopefully they can also influence your own vegan journey. And my last tip is definitely try things more than once. When I first went vegan, I was literally so grossed out by like vegan substitutes, which is kind of weird because it's literally just plants. But up until more recently, I just like didn't use any substitutes other than like plant milk. You might find, and this was the case for me, that when you first tried it, it was weird and nasty. But the second time, when you try it, say like a few months later, you might actually really like it because one of the biggest changes that I noticed from being vegan is that my taste buds have changed so much. You'll adapt to things. So that is all I have for today's video. Hopefully it didn't get too rambly and hopefully you learned something from it. I didn't go into too many like facts because I just really don't, like if you guys want the facts, you can look it up. Um, I don't want to sit here and be super preachy. I just want to share my opinion, get it out there, and just let you guys in on why I personally went vegan. Those were my reasons, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe and tick the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Genevieve.Mason, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!